We have over 80 nationalities uh, that attend our school, uh, staff and, and students, so incredibly international. What we like to do is to describe what we call a, a soft landing, both for uh, the children and young people joining our school and for the staff that join us too, to ensure they're as effective and as comfortable in their working environment as they can be, and that children are landing quickly and happily so they can start learning as quickly as they can too. really strong marketing and admissions team in the first instance for, uh, for the clients and for the children. So we're asking good questions about where the children are in their learning, um, what particular needs they may have so that when they arrive they feel comfortable and as secure as possible. Induction events, welcome events and a fantastic family association made up of parents who have done this thing themselves and know the experience and are able to share that and, and work with uh, an international coming across. Uh, actually also from a nationality basis too. So we have uh, parents who may be, uh, so there's a group of Polish uh, uh, colleagues joining us or, or children joining us. They can help and speak in their own language and just make sure that things are smooth for them as, as possible. Networking is very important and the idea that um, you know, we can actually assist with, um, there are voluntary agencies that also work with um, people who've arrived with their partner perhaps, they've got great skills, um, but then maybe there's not a job for them in the marketplace, we can hook them up or put them into the networks within The Hague and in the, in the Randstad area of the Netherlands to ensure that they feel that they can actually make a contribution too and that they're busy. But also, again, back, back to the Family Association, there are lots of members of that association who are in the same position and can signpost these facilities, these uh, opportunities to uh, find how, how the system works locally as quickly as possible. It helps, you know, as many things do. It helps for us to uh, be part of a wider organisation. Um, there are people, there are networks with whom we can speak. Um, so absolutely, all those, all those networks do help. We do work with relocation agencies um, and it's very important that they know precisely who we are and what we're offering so that we can tailor our soft landing to those that are coming over. Yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty around that, there's no doubt about that. And our parents are very uncertain about that too. It's, it's difficult. But what we're doing is communicating regularly and leaving frequently asked questions on our website for our existing parents and for maybe parents thinking about joining us. For the Netherlands, it's an interesting time because there are potential growth areas for us here as well, with companies moving across potentially uh, from the UK perhaps into the Netherlands, so we have to be responsive to that. The Netherlands economy is, is strong and it's actually a very stable, sensible country that's doing a lot of great stuff, so uh, we're very fortunate. Recruiting colleagues into the STEM subjects is, is always a challenge and it was when I was working in the UK equally, so it's, it's always been the same. It's very difficult to attract talented graduates into the profession at the moment. But we are very fortunate, we're large enough, we have a reputation which means that actually we are still seeing that quality coming into our school. But we're cognizant that we have a responsibility within our system to, to build and to grow that too. So our International Leadership Academy is looking to develop teachers when they arrive and ensure they feel they're on a program that's assisting them to become um, the, next, uh, the next leader, the next middle leader, the next senior leader within STEM subjects. But generally that's a, a big picture in terms of professional development. It's hugely important for colleagues joining us. They feel they can be developed. We're lucky um, and we have uh, good numbers of applications coming through so we can recruit into that quality. We're very interested in that and it can be difficult internationally to form those links. And you need to be connected with your local community. You need to be finding out what's happening and where. And we're determined to do that. And I try and lead from the front.